previously on the show, we celebrated Vera's six month day with pancakes in Skanal. When the weather had improved, we sailed along the south coast of Sweden to our second destination in Ystad. Ystad is a town in the almost far south of Sweden. And here we are moored in the city marina. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Hello, are you guys ready for a walk? Yes, we'll go for a walk so uh, this little girl can get some sleep uh, and you can do some work. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do some editing. But I will join you guys later because it's a beautiful day today. It's really warm. Oh, no, it is. It's. Uh, Almost 20 Celsius in the shade. The commercial port is quite big, with ferry lines going to the Danish island Bornholm and to Poland several times a day. You and just called me and they are on the town square. Vera is asleep and he asked me if I wanted to join him for an ice cream so I will finish the episode tonight it's almost finished just do the last couple of things and now we'll go out and enjoy the sun Here we have coconut, mango and chocolate sorbet. Mm. Wow, this is tasty. Good stuff. Time to sleep. Hmm? Mm. It's not a wide the platform and it's floating so it bounces when you go on it. Uh, now we're gonna go for a little walk and i um, gonna do a little bit of grocery shopping and then grandma is coming taking the train i think we'll meet her up on the station which is right over next to us here at the harbor it's a bit colder today it's more wind yeah Ooh. it's going to rain and be stormy tomorrow yeah it's gonna rain uh, this night the night for tomorrow all right. So 
Ista is the largest town in this area, Östolen, or in the region. I don't know how many many people live here. Around 40,000, I think. Something like that. Uh, what is super nice with this town is that it's so much old buildings that they have just kept. In the city center. In the city center, yeah. So now we're walking uh, to the monastery, which is from the, what is that, 1500s? No, I think it's uh, much older than that. Uh, 11, 1200? Yeah. I'm not sure. We have to. It's right over here. Yes. The monastery is from 1267. It was a knight who yeah, founded the place. The monks that used to live here, they call themselves the Grey Brothers. And they lived here at the monastery until 1537 when the Danish king Frederick I drove them out with force. Uh, afterwards he gave away the monastery to the city for some reason, that I don't know. And nowadays it's a museum, uh, since uh, 1912 actually. about uh, the pond here. Uh, now it's called the monastery pond, uh, but it used to function as a washing pond where the women like washing, maybe washing maids, I don't know what they were called, went down here to the pond to wash clothes. And um, there, the street that goes over here is called the Sladogatan and that's Sladr, Sladr, it's a Danish word for um, pump. Uh, so they were getting water from there, like there was a pump construction uh, to a little uh, oh, uh, river? river, where they were getting the water. They were using this as a washing pond up until the late 1800s actually. They were, there was also a washing house nearby uh, and they had around 20 places or spots where you could do laundry. And today it works as a pond for many birds. They even have their own little houses there on the island in the middle. So the reason why there are some Danish words like on the streets and so is because Skåne, where we are now, the south region of Sweden, uh, used to have been Danish uh, a little back and forth several times. So there have been a lot of battles in this region of Sweden, uh, like wars between Sweden and Denmark. But in the end, Sweden won and it became Swedish again. So they say <laughs> that's why we have this uh, accent, because it's a mix between like Swedish and Danish. This maple tree have probably been here a couple of hundreds of years. It's huge. The train goes directly from Malmö to Ista and takes less than an hour. Mom had brought homemade lasagna which we had for lunch.
We're on our way to Öster Skeppshandel, a ship chandler here that has a lot of old stuff. It's a really cool place. to learn how to do this and it's uh, shara on the hem tar tar oh, it smells so good and this is beautiful your aunts and your cousin's brand then I eat in Kullanda Falsterboe Ska den vara den långa bak? Ja, det är ju för vatten ska rinna av. Ja. Som att föra i nacken. Snyggt! Looks alright. Ja. Looks like a cowboy hat, but different. How much are they? Mm, not too bad. This brand was we found everywhere in Alaska. Yeah. This is what all the fishermen use in Alaska. Swedish. Det var fin. Men den är bättre. Nej, ja. den är finare. Ja, och sen sån skjorta. Ja, den var väl jättefin. If you come to Ista, a visit here is a must. Vad tyckte du om att sova på båten, mamma? Det, jo, men det funkade bra. Det, jag tyckte det var skönt att sova där. Jag tänkte en stund att den där skulle trilla ner. Jag tänkte då är jag mosad, <laughs> mo mo mosad mormor i, i, i luckan i Mobiti. our last day in Ystad. Tomorrow we're going to sail to Kosebaya, which is just another nine nautical miles from here. We're standing outside the old uh, train station house uh, that is in recent years mostly famous from um, as the police station from the Valander movies, which are internationally known actually. Uh, some uh, a policeman uh, Kurt Wallander and he solves crimes around here in East and around the area. A lot of uh, different crimes and murders going on here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're really good movies actually. So since the town is a little bit famous for from these movies, they have put up these signs. Uh, walk of film and you can actually take like a Wallander tour with an old uh, uh, firefighter bus. In town, you can see the old filming locations, and this was one. And I saw on the sign over there they filmed a movie here called The Revenge, where there was a big explosion that put all, out all the light in the town, and things started happening. I'm gonna go to the fuel dock to uh, get some diesel, and then we're Leaving Ista and going to uh, Kosovaya on Alastenga. Are you excited? I känner dig, little tjej. Ska det bli kul? Ska vi ut på havet igen? <laughs> wow.
While fueling up, we met a follower who was also visiting the marina by boat. It's kind of unstable today. There is rain showers on the horizon and maybe we can do some sailing but there's not a lot of wind here. and we're downwind so the apparent wind on the boat will be very low. But we are not going very far today, only 9 nautical miles. So we'll see, we're not in a hurry. Jag tänkte bara kolla, jag försökte få reda på lite information på er hemsida om det är någon skjutning idag eller inte på kabusen. Men jag hittar inte för... Okej, okay, så först i juni då antar jag. Ja, men det är jättebra. Då tackar jag så mycket. Ha det bra. Hej, hej. Hej. Just call, there's a military field out here. Where they... Yeah, where the, where the military train. And quite often the military have shooting exercises where they shoot out over the ocean on the sea here so of course you can't pass when they uh, have these training exercises and I couldn't find the correct information on their homepage so I just called them to make sure that there is no firing drill today and there weren't so we're okay to pass yeah quite a lot of swell today I think because it was pretty windy yesterday but now there is no wind at all <laughs> So now we're just rolling. Killer i magen! Killer i magen! Är det kul när det rullar? Thanks for watching this episode and we hope to see you next week when we visit Cosabella. <laughs>